Quedar can also mean to be left, as I said at the beginning of the lesson. But, uh, you know, we want to know how it works. You know, we want to see quedar in a sentence. So let's see. Let's take a look at this example. Queda algo de comer? <laughs> this is a good question. Queda algo de comer? Queda algo de comer? This means, is there anything left to eat? You know, maybe you <laughs> don't know if there's anything left to eat because there was a big meal and everybody was eating and you you didn't make it on you know to the dinner and you had to eat after for whatever reason so <laughs> this is a common question queda algo de comer is there anything left to eat so let's break this down queda left is left, you know, we're talking about to be left, so is left. Queda algo. Algo means something. Sometimes it means anything, you know, it depends on the situation. In this situation, you really don't, <laughs> you're not picky, you, <laughs> you don't care what's left to eat. You just want to know if there's something or anything, okay? So, algo means, in this situation, anything. De comer, uh, to eat, okay? But in this situation, it's a question. So, in English, you usually say, is there anything, okay? Is there? We don't have there in here. We don't have it. We don't, <laughs> we don't need it. Um, you just need to ask, is there anything left to eat? Okay. So in English works differently in Spanish. We don't need there is there because if you want to say it precisely, you know, if you want to translate everything precisely, it will be something like I, okay. I, you can also say this by the way. Um, you can ask, hay algo de comer? And it's similar to saying, is there anything to eat? Okay. Not left. Just, you just want to know if there's anything to eat. I means is there. Okay. Without a question, if you don't have a question and you use I, it means there is or there are. Okay. But here, I means is there. But when using quedar, you don't need <laughs> the there word in English, right? Uh, you don't need I. You don't need that. You can u just use quedar. Queda, sorry, not quedar. Queda algo de comer. Is there anything left to eat? Okay. De comer, in this situation, you know, to eat. De comer, to eat. Um, this is a common verb that means to eat, but when you say de comer, hay algo de comer, queda algo de comer, that means, you know, you just want to eat, you just want to know about the food, and it's similar to saying to eat, okay, in this situation. Very common phrase. Okay. For example, someone can say, answer your question, this question, queda algo de comer. Um, someone might say, no queda nada de comer. No queda nada de comer. And this means there is nothing to eat or nothing left more precise, uh, to eat. No queda, no queda means 
there is not okay that's what it means in english it works differently there is not no queda nada nothing de comer we can see the phrase again de comer to eat uh, but remember we're saying quedar we're using quedar the verb quedar so you're saying there is nothing left okay because we have it here okay also you can say no hay nada de comer and that's a more literal translation no hay nada it means there is nothing uh, no hay is like saying once again there isn't nothing that's how it works in spanish in english there is nothing <laughs> okay so just keep that in mind keep that in mind there's some differences for sure okay so that's one example let's look at the uh, the next example okay no quedaba nadie en el autobús no quedaba nadie en el autobús this means there was nobody there wasn't there was nobody sorry there was nobody left on the bus okay so we're talking about or we can see that the situation is about maybe you're on the bus and <laughs> you're by yourself right and you are on the phone you are letting someone know that there's no one on the bus only yourself so this can work this phrase is good to explain that and we're using quedar okay we have quedar right here no quedaba this is uh, past tense so it means that you're telling something that already happened uh, if you want you can use present tense no queda okay no queda nadie en el, en el autobús there is nobody left on the bus okay everybody's gone but uh, we have pretty tense in this situation no quedaba there was again we need to include left because that's what that's the meaning of quedar no quedaba there was left <laughs> Nadie means nobody. En, remember, en can mean on, in, and also at. So, on in this situation. El autobús. El, the, autobús, bus. Um, some people call autobús or bus a camión. Oops. Camión. So there's two different ways to say bus in Spanish. There's more. Autobús. Some people call it bus. El bus. Okay. So that's in, in Spanish. In English, the bus. El bus. So it can be el bus. They will just say it in Spanish. Bus. <laughs> bus. Um, la guagua that is in certain parts I believe in the Caribbean some parts of the Caribbean um, la guagua that's a that's a really good one I like it la guagua it's like saying water twice in Spanish agua agua but without the first A uh, la guagua in Mexico, usually, el camión. El autobús is a more general term used anywhere in the Spanish world. Um, so <laughs> it's very, very interesting. Very interesting. So I'm just going to change it to el autobús. Auto. 
Oops. Oops, sorry. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. No quedaba nadie en el autobús. There was nobody left on the bus. Okay, so both examples are negative. Um, I mean, you can have positive ones too. For example, here, you can say, queda algo de comer. Okay, initially we asked, is there anything left to eat? Queda algo de comer? And you can say, if you're answering that question, you can say, si sí, queda algo de comer. So it's pretty much the same. The question and the answer is pretty much the same. Um, the intonation changes. And also we added si, sí, which means yes. This means yes. There's something left to eat. Okay. So that's positive. And again, we're using quedar, quedar. Excellent. Mm -hmm.